Hello again, everyone. This is Kevin Johnson of Leverage Consulting, and here's yet one more Resilient Entrepreneur podcast. And as you know, I either bring you a nugget or I bring you a question. And today I have a question for you. The question is, are you vanilla? Are you vanilla flavored ice cream or are you some type of flavored ice cream? And what I'm really getting at with that question is for those of you who own your own business or even those of you who are even considering going out and getting another job or whether you're interested in acquiring more business, you want to do business with people. The question is, if I were to go and look at your social media profile, if I were to go look at some of the other things that you put out into the universe, is it really quite vanilla? Does it have any personality? Or is it something that really shows and demonstrates who you are? Who you are, and I'm talking about the who you are behind the curtain type thing. Who you are in terms of the types of vacations that you really like to go on, or the types of hobbies that you have, or where your, you know, basically where your interests really lie. And some of those interests might be something along the, that could be very clinical or academic or, again, a, you know, very much into a certain hobby or a team or something. And all too often, I see people who are p just playing it safe. They're too worried about everyone offending someone. And, I mean, let's face it, in today's world, everyone's just super conscientious or super concerned about offending people or if I put something out there, I might offend this person or that group or this whatever. And in the end, here's, the re here's another question for you. Would you rather have 300 vanilla connections or would you rather have 50 to 100 flavored connections? Heck, even 20 flavored connections. And part of this was sparked by a deep dive I was doing with a client and we were going through how do we help them grow their business and we're going through a list of about 300 people that they could contact and work with to do more business. And in doing that, you know, we were going through, oh, well, I haven't talked to this person in so long, which, you know, that's that's not a good thing, you know, because we if it's if it's connection that we want to maintain and someone we want to do business with, we should be in contact with them a little bit more frequently. But with that, we also want to really focus on um, you know, the, the, again, those connections. So the question is, like, do we have a connection even with a past deal or a past, past client, past patient? Do we have a connection with a hobby, a mutual interest or something? Because, you know, it's, it's I'm sure you've been in these situations where you go to a national event or you meet someone at the coffee shop, the bar or something. And, you know, we strike up conversation and it's it's very superficial. I mean, it's the kind of thing. How are you? How are you? What have you been doing? What have you been doing? And then you start nodding and looking at each other like what's next. But yet you go and you meet up with someone else and, you know, it's it's going to immediately be it's like we just want to sweep the business stuff out of the way. It's like, yeah, 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 we're doing great at the office, but. I just saw your, your scuba diving thing on Instagram the other day. That was absolutely awesome. We're looking at scheduling one ourselves, and we've really been considering Bon Air. Have you been there? And imagine where that conversation is going to go. You know, and it could be, you know, I've not been to Bon Air, but I'll tell you about another place in the Caribbean that's really cool to dive. You know, that that is just such a deeper connection and a deeper uh, conversation that you'll have with that individual. So it's not, again, this vanilla thing. You can blast all this stuff out into the universe. And let's just say if you're on Instagram and you have, you know, 50,000 followers or 500 followers, it really doesn't matter. Well, it does matter to some degree. But the, the my point in this example is even if you have 50,000, if they're all vanilla or you have no connection to these people or it's you know, you're connected to these people in, in foreign countries you'll never do business with. That's what I'm getting at with the it doesn't matter. Because it's very likely you'll never do business with a lot of the people on a feed. However, the qu again, the question is, how are, you, how are you creating that flavored ice cream with the folks that you're connected with? And again, whether it's a list of 300 or you're going to go out and, and add to that list and find new people. And it could be, again, finding them through mutual connections. 
and the connections can be a person. The connections can be a uh, they they can again be a hobby or interest or something of the sort. And you know, there's some people, for example, that I have connections with over bourbon. I I mean, I love I love bourbon, and I and I um, you know have a collection of it. But at the same time, I don't drink it that often. But I, when I drink it, I want to drink something good. There's other people I have connections with over fly fishing, over, over you know, I developed an, a uh, probably a little bit, a, a little bit deeper connection with someone over he and I figuring out tarpon fishing. I've had other connections, whether it's uh, going out west. You know, there's just so many different things. And I think some of it is just letting people know who you are. Let them know the kinds of things that you're interested in. I mean, it could even be your your interest, your passion, just your gut drive on why you do what you do and why you do it so well. Because there's certain people that they've carved out a niche. I mean, it's part of why I did what I did. Where I where I worked before, it was they provided a great service, and quite honestly, a lot of the service that was provided was because of the people that I worked with. Not even really because of the company, but because of the people that were hired by the company. And we did a great thing. We provided a phenomenal service back then, but I, I broke off because I wanted to do something that was f- more unique and more tailored and customized to the client as opposed to, here, let's take this thing off the shelf and apply it to everyone. And there's a, there's, there's a time and place for that, but it's not what I wanted to offer because I saw a big gap and a big opening. So with that being said again you you go back and look at what it is that you have do a quick do a quick scroll you know it should not take you very long look over the past year and see in your social media profile because let's face it that's that's your that's your billboard for the world you know forget these signs you see on the side of the road look at your social media profile and just see what you're putting out into the universe and is it is it platitudes, which that's probably going to be another podcast I've thought about. I I'm, I'm very well may do a podcast on that sometime soon. But is it just a, a feed of platitudes or are there things in there that, that are giving? You know, and I, don't, and I mean things that, that demonstrate that you give. Another very good client of mine, friend of mine, you know, they, um, they started working with a dog rescue. And, you know, they're showing the world that we're caring and giving people, you know, and I think it says a lot about them. In fact, when I was there recently, they shared the rest of the story with me that was shown on on social media, which the story in itself was pretty awesome. And yes, we did a deep dive on that. We have a mutual connection of dogs and rescues. So we we um, again, go back through your social media page. Is it vanilla? Is it bland? Is it? you know, again, just the same stuff kind of over and over, or is it, is it that flavored ice cream? Is it Rocky road, you know, or is it, uh, we have one here and I've, I'm trying to keep my distance from it, but we have one called bear tracks. If I go to Kilwin's ice cream, they've, they've got another, uh, their cookie dough is absolutely off the hook. You know, there's, there's, you know, look at those connections that you have. And can you tell me, like if I were to point at some people on your list can you tell me at least three meaningful things about those people? For example, you know, can you tell me about their kids and the kids' interests? Because you talk to a parent about their kids and the kids' interests, you have my attention. If you talk to a dog person about their dogs, you might as well sit down. You're going to be there for a while. You know, so it's, it's things like that. Can you tell me certain things about them? So if you, want, if you want to do business in an easier way, don't be vanilla. 